Things has some thoughts on what the president should say tonight. He tells KRDO News Channel 13's Eric Fink the president will likely tell the American people he's taking the country back to war. A prime time speech from the president. And what some believe could be the announcement of a greater attack aimed at ISIS in Iraq and Syria. Colorado College political the, uh, science professor David Hendrickson believes the American people changed their minds about going to war at the moment video surfaced showing the beheadings of two American journalists. It's the fact that public opinion changed in relation to these horrible images of the journalists is disturbing because once they see the complications of an expanded war, they may recall why they became disaffected from the Iraq war in the first place. Any expansion of the war is going to mean a lot of deaths of, of others, uh, potential of collateral damage. Dwayne Knutson spent 30 years in the Air Force. A Vietnam vet, he strongly believes the U.S. military must increase its efforts to defeat ISIS. You must be ready to deal with all the issues that come up unless our American people are willing to take second place someplace, and I don't think they are. Depending on the length of this engagement in the Middle East, Hendrickson says it could have a big impact on both Fort Carson and the Air Force Academy. Fort Carson is not likely to bear the brunt of it, but I think that any time the U.S. military commits itself to go to war, the United States commits itself to go to war, Colorado Springs is likely to have some kind of involvement. Tonight, a military community waits anxiously for word from its commander in chief. Eric Fink, KRDO News Channel 13. Thanks, Eric. And Hendrickson told Eric he thinks the president will pledge to keep boots off the ground in Iraq and Syria. He fears an open ended commitment of American forces in that region. It's been nearly two years to the day.